What up, people? This is Cookie Chris from Those YGO Guys, and today we're discussing more e-hero goodness. Now, last time we were talking about the attribute elemental heroes, uh, The Shining, Absolute Zero, Gaia, Great Tornado, Nova Master, and whatever the dark one's called. Um, so we'll discuss more about that here in a second. But first, as you can see, it's Destiny Heroes versus Elemental Heroes. America versus Britain. Wahaha. Some great historical battle somewhere. All right. So I played Diamond Dude. I tried his effect. I didn't get anything. Played Allure of Darkness. Removed from play. I believe Defender. And now I'm using uh, Foolish Burial to send Dasher to the graveyard. So I can have Dasher's effect. But... Back to the attribute elemental heroes. Now the one now the reason that they're gonna be now the reason that they're so big and popular is mainly because of a card known as super polymerization. It's a quick play spell card. In order to activate it, you have to discard one card from your hand and it allows you to fuse any monsters that are on the field, both on your opponent's side of the field and on your side of the field together to create a new monster. On top of that, the card cannot be chained. That's probably the one big devastating factor here. Um, the fact that you are that you can fuse two cards together to create a new card, you can pretty much take one or two cards or even more from your opponent to create a brand new monster, and your opponent can't stop it. Your opponent can't do anything to it. They can't negate it. They can't chain to it. They can't do anything. All they can do is watch as their monster gets fused uh, to create a new monster. For example, uh, let's say that you're that you are running an e-hero deck and you have Sparkman on the field, and your opponent has a uh, 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 the fabled monster, like a really powerful fabled monster, um, the unicorn, fabled unicorn, um, and you don't have a different number of hands, uh, different, and you have a different number of cards in your hand from your opponent. So your opponent attacks with Fabled Unicorn on Sparkman, and you activate, and you chain with Super Polymerization, which you had set down. Um, your opponent can't do anything about that. Their Unicorn gets fused with hit, with your Sparkman to create the Shining, the Light Monster. And that right there uh, is a reason why they're going to become extremely powerful, uh, if they're not already powerful enough. Uh, so, yeah, fun. All right, so right now we're looking at Woodsman and a set card ver and two set cards on the opponent's side of the field. Sad, sad times for Destiny Heroes. But now, as I was saying in, the, in another video, that we were only going to show uh, one, two different styles of elemental heroes. There's Winky's deck which is the basic elemental hero in my deck, which is the beatdown strategy. That's not the only kind of elemental heroes out there. Uh, there's ones that focus mainly only on evil heroes. Uh, there is this light elemental hero Gemini stun or anti-meta deck out there that's really, really good, really powerful um, that revolves around elemental hero Neos Alias. I recommend looking into that. I faced one of those decks before. It was stupid crazy powerful. I'm not kidding. All right, so right now what you're watching is Winky's using um, Elemental Hero. Uh, oh, God, I don't even know his name. Uh, the fusion of Avion and Wildheart to blow up my backfield so that I can't stop him from doing stuff. And I just removed from play his... Woodsman with Doom Lord, but his Doom, but Woodsman's going to come back soon anyway. So now he just blew up my giant true nade with his Percentatrix. Oh god, it bugs me. I can't remember that card's name. Oh well. Um, that is so. I just summoned a uh Armageddon Knight. And forgot that I already sent a dasher to the graveyard. And I have a dasher in my hand. So I was like, crud. Oh, what am I going to do now? All right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So 
Other than that, there's also supposed to be a Bubble Man burn deck out there. Not really sure what to uh, say about that, but... Um, I've never actually seen it played. I know it exists. I guess it works. Maybe. Um, there's also, of course, the Neo Spacian deck, which I've tried a lot to get to work. And the best I could do was actually a uh, variation of Neo Spacians and Gemini monsters, uh, which worked well. It just wasn't uh, good. It, it wasn't like top tier. It wasn't anything close to that. Uh, really... It's not exactly the best card out there, but a lot of the Elemental Hero Neospatian monsters are extremely powerful, which is why they have that effect that once they're uh, at the end phase, they are sent back to the extra deck. Uh, unless, you, of course, you have in, uh, instant Neospace or Neospace on the field. In that case, they stay on the field for a little while longer, and if it's Neospace, they get a bonus 500 attack. Can't beat that. But today, we can work on Neospatians later. For right now, we're just focusing on our Elemental Hero buddies. So, I've got Diamond Dude back on the field. Um, I was able to get D-Spirit into the graveyard by Diamond Dude's effect. And the beautiful thing, and I'm going to drift off here onto, Di onto Diamond Dude for a second. The beautiful thing about Diamond Dude is that you can activate Diamond Dude's effect. And if it's a normal spell card... That you send to uh, the and when you activate his effect, you reveal the top card of your deck. When you do that, uh, if it's a normal spell card, it is sent to the top. It is sent to the graveyard. If it's not a normal spell card, it's sent to the bottom of the deck. Now then, then during your next main phase, during your next main phase of your next turn, you can activate that effect. Your opponent cannot negate it. Your opponent cannot change to it. Because in order to have negated that spell card's effect, they would have had to negate Diamond Dude the turn previously. So they can negate it when you reveal it and reveal it to be a spell card, but they can't negate it um, when the spell card's effect is actually taking place. Because they would have had to negate Diamond Dude's effect. And that was match one. Um, let's see, I believe we're moving on here. And this is my E-Hero deck. Um, but back to Diamond Dude for a second. On top of all that, and this, you may want to add Diamond Dude to your E Hero deck. I don't run him in mine, mainly because I don't need him, but you may find a reason to run him. I do know there have been Diamond Dude Turbo decks, but the other thing that makes Diamond Dude really, really powerful is that when you use his effect and send a normal spell card to the graveyard, you do not need to meet the requirements of that spell card, nor do you pay the cost. This is extremely... Not broken, but fantastic. Mainly because it allows you to use stuff like Short Circuit. Short Circuit is a normal spell card that completely wipes your opponent's side of the field. And all you need are three battery men on your side of the field. If you use Diamond Dude's effect and you send Short, short, uh, short Circuit to the graveyard, the effect goes through regardless of battery men being on the field. Um, another example of this is Destiny Draw, if you, which requires you to discard a Destiny Hero monster and draw two cards. If that is sent to the graveyard by Diamond Dude's effect, you do not have to, uh, you do not at all send a Destiny Hero monster from your hand to the graveyard. You automatically just get to draw two cards your next turn. A lot of people try to build a Diamond Dude Turbo deck which utilizes Diamond Dude's effect, and it utilizes him and Feather of the Phoenix, which allows you to put a card back on top of your deck. And it, it used to be really, really good. Nowadays, it's kind of been overshadowed by a lot of the other decks out there. And right now, um, so, but if you're interested, go ahead and try. I would like to hear your opinion on uh, the whole Diamond Dude thing. Would you like to build a Diamond Dude Turbo deck? Would you like to utilize Diamond Dude in your... Deck, now that you know uh, how cheap he can be. Notice I said how cheap he can be. His effect's never guaranteed to actually work. Uh, so right now we're watching my E-Hero deck uh, versus the Agents deck. And the Agents are, very, are relatively new. So I've got Absolute Zero out into the field. He's got Athena and whatever the monster is that fetches Sanctuary in the Sky. His name eludes me right now. But uh, 
And of course, I summon absolute zero. He can't do anything about it. So... And he just burned me. Athena's effect is that she can... You contribute one uh, light fairy monster to special summon another light fairy monster from the graveyard. That isn't Athena. And whenever a monster gets summoned, your uh, opponent takes 600 points of damage. So right now, he's actually been burning me for a lot just by switching out those monsters. Um, so let's see what I'm going to do. Uh, am I going to attack? Am I going to... Uh, you know, use super polymerization, fuse. No, I'm going to tribute for Caius, the Shadow Monarch. Uh, Caius's effect takes place, and I remove from play Sanctuary in the Sky. And he saw him judgments that. I saw him judgment him. And now, after all that resolves, Absolute Zero's effect takes place and blows up everything on my opponent's side of the field. Absolute Zero's effect is fantastic because it's mandatory, first off. So no matter how it's sent from the field to the graveyard, as long as it's not sent while it's face down to the graveyard or, you know, uh, re returned back to the hand or anything like that, like it's as, it's, as long as it's removed from the field when it's face up, its effect takes place. You can tribute it. You can fuse it. You can do whatever you want with it. And I just won that duel, by the way. Um, removed it from play. Then I used Grand Mark to blow up one of his face down cards and attacked him again. Keep in mind that we both used Solemn Judgment, so we were both knocked down by a lot of life points. So, all right, that's it for that duel. And I will see you guys later on the next YGO show thing. Take care. Bye.